Cool. Hi, everyone. My name is Sam Mora. Thanks for coming out to my talk today on Vue.js. Um, so Vue.js, in a nutshell, is a JavaScript-based UI framework. Um, it offers you a lot of stuff, which unfortunately, in the interest of time, I can't get into. This talk's mainly going to be comparing it to React uh, and a little bit to Angular. So a bit of background before we get into the code. Um, Vue.js was actually made in large part by that guy there. His name is Evan Yu. Um, he's actually an art history major before he was a programmer. Then he got into programming, and then he got into Google. He worked with Angular for a bit, and then he uh, left Google on a limb to kind of build his own system. Um, Angular is a pretty you know, comprehensive system. He wanted to just have a simple, lightweight you know, uh, view model renderer. Um, so he's a pretty new on the block. Um, I'd say it really only kicked in with Vue 2.0, which was in September 2016. And you can tell by that Google Trends um, that people really started looking into it um, with the advent of Vue 2.0. Um, if we check on GitHub, Vue is actually the hottest new thing. Um, so it's actually getting more favorites per day in this month than React. And it's not just this month. And it's not just the last three months. Uh, it's been consistently growing faster than React and actually twice as fast as Angular 2. Um, that's not to say that React isn't the most popular thing. Um, it's still the most popular UI framework on GitHub. And I actually, you know, that's not the best measure either because if you're working in Silicon Valley, you're only going to be using Angular or React. Um, but again, I don't want to give you the wrong picture. Uh, doesn't look like this right now. It's not like one indie developer with a small team against two giant corporations. Um, because Vue, since 2.0, has actually been picked up uh, in China and Japan and in the UK. Um, so I think internationally, Vue's taking off more than here. Uh, that's probably because those other two companies are American. Um, but yeah, let's get into actually what Vue is. So I got some pros and cons here, uh, particularly versus React. Um, I think the biggest pro that Vue's got, uh, even with React, is that it's very lightweight. We're going to check out my code, and you'll see all it takes is one script tag, and you're actually just good to go. Um, so you don't need web loader, you don't need Babel, you don't need to transpile any JSX. Like, um, it just you use HTML, you use JavaScript, and you got your Vue. Uh, and with that, I think Vue lends itself to very readable code. Um, so if you're coding with other people, you know, in the off chance, or maybe your parents want to read your code for some reason, like, they're probably going to be able to actually figure out some of the logic. Um, because I think Vue, um, its directives, and just the fact that it's simple HTML mostly with the rendering, um, it's not too hard to get through. And I don't think this one's too much of a pro, but if you're ever working on a huge Vue code base, you'll find that it's actually, it renders better than React. Uh, this is a third party study, this graph here. Uh, which happens to be on the Vue website, um, but it shows that with a baseline of vanilla JavaScript, things like memory allocation, building tables and stuff, Vue is actually the best performer right now. Um, but that's not to say Vue's like the next new thing. Uh, it definitely has some flaws. Some are kind of incidental to the fact that it's a small community right now, like uh, the first one there. Um, I think Vue has like the essential stuff, all the stuff we've been working with, like you'll find there's a library with the store, Vuex. Um, you'll find there's a router library. And actually, uh, these Alibaba guys, they actually designed uh, Wex, which is like React Native for Vue. So you can do some mobile apps with Vue if you want now. Uh, but you don't have crazier things. You don't have like Material UI or, or VR uh, or any of that stuff for Vue. That's all React. Uh, there's no large scale production usage, which we've been over. And more like idiosyncrasies like if you're getting into Vue from React, uh, you're probably going to be a little frustrated because I don't think it's as flexible. A lot like uh, MobX with Eli, um, I think there's a lot of magic going on. So you can't just you know, stick in your JSX code, you know, your dot map to like, render out things. Vue wants you to do things a certain way. And it does do those things very like, cleanly and without too much writing. But um, you might be frustrated like, uh, if you want to do things a very specific way and it just wants it to do it its magical way. Um, but let's get into the code so I can show you what I'm talking about. So I have a couple JS fiddles here. Um, and here's our first one. It's actually my favorite one. I think it shows the best part of you. Uh, it's really just a hello world. Um, it's got one div, and here's some HTML, and here's a message. Where's that coming from? 
Well, if we go down, we have our entire <laughs> app right here. <laughs> so this is uh, the view. This is a V model that I'm making, a view model I'm making. Um, hooks onto the app there, and it's got that data, which is analogous to state uh, in React. And because I've got that script up there, uh, it, this HTML knows exactly what I'm talking about, so we're good to go. Going on to something uh, probably going to be working with this format a bit more, where the view is actually in its own file. So you're going to put the templates on this property of the view model object now. Um, and here's another sh very sugary directive, or sorry, the most sugary one I've seen, which is a V model. All the directives, by the way, they have this V dash. Um, so, you know, data binding. In, in React, it's like, it's not like hard, but it's like, you know, you got to hook up this input element to your state and the state to the input. ViewModel actually does all of that in one word. So it's just like a prefab function, and there you go. The state and the input are in sync. Um, going on now, oopsie, to something a little different. Um, this is actually the coolest one. Um, so we have just quickly here uh, a new directive, the vif, um, and that is bound to this uh, attribute, or sorry, this property in the state switched. So while this is true, it's going to render this, and if that wasn't true, it would render this instead. And we have a, a uh, this is an at click, it's just actually just like a v on, it's another v directive. Um, so on click, it's going to make this function, which is all that's doing is changing switched. So as you might expect, um, it changes the label. But if I type anything in here, it stays. Because Vue, uh, it's very selective about what it re-renders. I think that's how it ekes out um, that extra performance over React. Uh, I just think that's really cool that even though you're actually rendering the div, it, it knows to keep that input in there. And by the way, you, you can like specify, like, I don't want to see this anymore. But um, by default, it's not going to do that for you. So um, here, I just want to show view components for a bit. Um, this is probably more akin to that React format you're looking for, where it's, it's, it's modular and you can kind of put components into other components. So we're defining something as a component. And down here, we're actually just um, calling it uh, just by um, using a custom HTML tag, which happens to be the same name as it. I mean, it doesn't happen. Oh, that was my intention. but. Um, you can call as many times as you want. You can pass down different props to it the same way you would with React. Um, you know, props equals whatever. Um, yeah, so pretty similar to React. And this last one is kind of a putting it all together. So we have here an input, um, and we got a view model to the input data. So we're going to be tracking that. Um, view also has this computed thing. It's basically like a getter. So uh, it's tied to something in the state, and whenever the state changes, this changes too. Um, so that's jcount, which I'm using in this method down here. So if the jcount ever goes over 20, it's going to change um, some state properties. And up here, um, we've got some vbinds. That's these colons, that's shorthand for vbind. So we're binding the style, and we're also binding this disabled attribute. So I'm sure you all want to know what happens when I type in too many j's. That's what happens. Uh, it disables the input. And we got a new message, and I can't change anything anymore. Uh, finally, um, I wanted to just show you what a small code base would look like. So I re-implemented something that we've done in React. Some of you might be familiar with this. You just have a link, a um, list of things, and you can click on a link, and that'll pop up a little picture. So over here, uh, there's a nifty tool called Vue CLI, and that can just build out a boilerplate for you. Um, so that is basically everything outside of this source folder. So let's not worry about that. Um, but inside of here, we have a, just a router, which is only rendering one page. And we have these components. Um, and if we notice, these things aren't JS. Uh, these are view files, because now we do have Webpack. And we're at the liberty to kind of um, format things in a much sleeker way, in my opinion. So. This component, you see the template, you know, it's the render. So everything we're rendering, we can just stick between these two template tags. Uh, everything like methods and like state uh, or the name that, uh, of the um, component, we can just stick in these script tags. And if we even want to do style, we can actually scope some style out for each component. Um, so this is a component that's rendering all the time. 
here's a component that's rendering on the home page. And one last thing, I just wanted to show you, Vue does have hooks too, so this is a created one. And there's like updated, destroyed, and then there's like should update. I actually like Vue's hooks more than React's. They make a bit more sense to me. Um, you should check them out if you get the time. Um, but yeah, all together, that is a completed product. And if you're interested, uh, here's a couple links for you. So this is a pretty good one. It shows React versus Vue uh, code comparisons. Uh, there's the like React Native. Uh, here's some tests. And this uh, is a link to the first conference that Vue's ever going to have this summer. Uh, it's in Poland, but don't let that stop you. If you're really excited about Vue now, buy your plane tickets now. Uh, but that's all I got, so thanks. <laughs>